I use the example of exploring an obstacle course. And I want you to keep that in your head. If I said to you that your task is going to be to complete an obstacle course in a month's time, it would make so much sense to say to me, well, Yvonne, can I see the obstacle course? Can you tell me what the obstacles are? Can you tell me what I'm going to have to be able to do? If I said to you, yes, you can walk around the obstacle course, you can see what the obstacles are, you can see how high they are, you know, how, how much you have to do, it would make so much sense for you to walk through that obstacle course so that you can guide your training based on what you know you're going to have to be able to do. And yet, as students, we don't want to do this. We want to avoid looking at questions and we want to avoid looking at those exams until we know what we're doing, until we feel like I'm ready to see them. This is purely fear-based. There's no logic here. I want you to explore the obstacle course. I want you to explore what it is that's going to be expected of you in the future. And I want to be really clear that when I say this, I'm talking about what you're going to need to be able to do in the future. One of the reasons that we avoid this is because we feel like this is what we have to do right now. Right now, today, I'm going to have to be able to do this. And that's not true. That's not true. I'm talking about, let's take a look at what you're going to need to be able to do by the time your studying is done. What is the outcome here? What do they want from you? That way you can make sure that you guide your studies accordingly. You're not just saying, okay, well, let me just study the topic and then hope I can do absolutely everything with it. That's not realistic. For example, if I said to you, here's the topic, you're going to have to draw something. That's going to require the ability to draw. You may not have that ability, which means you're going to need to go and take drawing lessons. If I said to you, this topic is going to require you to be able to calculate stuff, then you need to make sure you have a calculator and that you know how to use it. If you're someone who can draw, but you can't use a calculator, then you need to go and understand and you need to go and figure that out. So it makes absolute logical sense to walk around the obstacle course. Take a look at what you're going to need to be able to do so that when you go to gym, when you go and train, you can make sure you're prepared for what you're going to face. So I'm going to keep talking about this as walking around the obstacle course. Have you walked around the obstacle course? Do you know what's going to be expected from you? I don't expect this of you today. You may look at it and make absolutely zero sense of it. You don't understand the topic. You don't understand the material. That's fine. You're just walking around the obstacle course. 